Hey guys, welcome back. It's Infinite Potatoes. Today we are going over Bosk. I'll be covering all of his abilities, his strong points, and weaknesses, along with other strategies for beginners to advanced players to dominate the battlefront. Remember, anything I mention in this video is subject to change at any time. I will put timestamps in the description so you can find your way through this video easier. But I'd suggest watching the whole video because you might learn something new. Bosk, the fearless Trandoshan bounty hunter from the Empire Strikes Back, is back in Battlefront 2, but with a bit of a twist from the first game. Bosk has 600 health and is equipped with his shotgun sniper, the Browby V10. It is very useful and an interesting blaster. We'll have to cover that later. He has a few unique attributes that come from him being a Trandoshan, and I believe that DICE and EA have implemented those in amazing ways. And it's actually balanced, unlike the first game. Trandoshans in Star Wars are able to regenerate and have heat vision. Both of these have been implemented into Boss's character in-game. Let's cover over the regeneration ability first. Normally as a hero, if you lose too much health, you won't ever be able to regain that health back. That's not the case with Bosk. He can lose as much health as possible and still be able to regen to full. So you have to play more strategic because he has a lot less health, but he has the ability to regenerate all of it back. His second attribute is actually an ability, so we'll cover that in a bit. Well, let's go through his actual main three abilities. The first of these three is the Dioxys Grenade. Activated by pressing the left bumper on controllers, Bosk throws out a sticky grenade that releases deadly toxins. This ability is absolutely amazing. This ability kind of replaces the toxic escape from the first game. If you can throw this into a bunch of enemies, you'll get tons of points. It might not completely kill them, but it will help clear an objective. But even assists count of kills, so it doesn't matter that much. The Dioxys also does a lot of damage to heroes. If you throw it on the floor in the middle of a hero battle, you can freak them out and they'll have to run out of the cloud. If they don't, you'll just do a lot of damage. The second ability is the Predator Instincts. This is an ability that I was telling you about before. When you use your middle ability, left bumper and right bumper at the same time, Boss starts seeing everything in heat vision, being able to see enemies light up. Also with this ability, you can even see through walls. This ability is extremely useful for seeing what heroes are nearby, which is essential for boss survival. Also, in addition to the night vision, once his predatory instincts are activated, he also changes ammunition. And this ability is in fact on a timer, and it only lasts for around 10 seconds or so, but you can get different star cards to modify that. Such as extra time on the timer on kill, or extra health on kill once you have the ability activated. The ammunition boss changes his blaster to is kind of like a barrage type weapon, except that it has unlimited grenades and it detonates once it hits an enemy, so it kind of bounces around if it doesn't hit the enemy. These grenades are crazy good, not only do they do a ton of damage to enemy heroes, and you can take out a bunch of soldiers, but they confuse and make all the enemies that do survive freak out from all the mini explosions. And his third ability, the proximity mines. Boss throws out three sticky proximity mines. Nowhere proximity mines detonate once an enemy steps near the proximity of the mine. For those who don't know, most classes that come into the proximity of these will die by the blast. But I've noticed in most circumstances, the heavy still survive. Maybe one bomb isn't enough to kill them. I'm not sure, but be aware of that. Otherwise, these three mines, along with boss other abilities, are really good for aggressive playing. Here are all the star cards that you can unlock for boss. Feel free to pause the video and read them.
Fosk is also equipped with his Ralby V10, which I have mentioned earlier in this video. This blaster was completely transformed from the first game. In the first game, it was a targeting rifle. In this game, it's a shotgun and a sniper, and I'll show you how. At close range, if you hip fire, your blaster will shoot like a shotgun. But if you ADS, aim down sight, it'll have a charge up meter kinda like the pulse cannon from Battlefront 1. Once this meter is filled, you can shoot off a sniper shot being able to one shot any class at any range except for heavy. Now you can play extremely offensively and defensively because even his primary weapon is versatile. Now we are going to hop into the strategies for boss. Speaking of hopping, for those who didn't know, if you hold down the jump button with boss, he jumps super high and far. This is extremely useful for almost any situation, like running away or even pushing a spawn. Here's one huge survival tip. Boss has low health, but he is a glass cannon, so what you should always do is be agile. Always moving around, rolling, jumping, etc. With boss, you should always be jumping. Everyone, and I mean everyone, will hate you for this. You know why? Because it works. It is the best survival tactic for boss. He has a high jump that I like to call a force jump, even though he doesn't have force powers. If you have to run away, try the jump and go in a zigzagging motion, left and right. Also, while doing this if possible, I'd try to throw any abilities you have at the ground, such as the Dioxys or the Proxy Mines that I mentioned earlier. These might just keep you alive by holding back the enemies. You should always have an eye on your health bar. Not just for boss, but for any hero. You have to know your limits to how low your health can go before you have to retreat. For boss, my personal low is around 200 to 250 health. Once my bar hits that, I'm out of there. I don't want to take the risk of dying if I could easily wait a little bit, then regen back to full. That's the beauty with boss. Bosk is super versatile. Even once he's retreated, he can still defeat enemies from a distance. If you always have your gun ADSing, it becomes a full out sniper rifle. If you find a good spot where you can see a certain objective from a distance, you can eliminate everyone who goes for it. One thing that Bosk excels at is defense. If you have an objective that an enemy needs to go to, you could easily throw down your proxy mines or your dioxys to clear anybody from coming to it or even throw both at the same time. Watch out for lightsaber heroes, as they can defeat boss in 5 or so lightsaber strikes, because he's so weak. What you want to do is always keep an eye on the minimap. At the time of me making this video, heroes on the minimap are indicated with an open circle. Also one thing to help you figure out what the hero is there, along with their exact location, is the predatory instincts. Remember, once that's active, you can see through walls in most cases, and you will most likely be able to recognize who's on the other side of the wall coming towards you. If an enemy hero comes and you decide to stand your ground and not fall back, use the multi-grenades that are active when you use boss predatory instincts to scare away the enemy hero, or if they are a weak hero, maybe even kill them. In Heroes vs. Villains, he's more of a support player, because he's a glass cannon. You kind of want to play with him like a chicken. If there are too many enemies, you run. But if they aren't paying attention, you drop a few nades on them and then run back to your team. It might not get you a ton of kills, but it will help your team out immensely. You'll get a ton of damage and points for doing it. It is risky because if you get attacked by a force user, you'll be in big, big trouble. But anyways, if you think this video helped in any ways, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. If you have any tips and tricks, let everyone know in the comment section below. Help somebody new out. Also, feel free to share this with your friends. You don't want to keep all this knowledge to yourself. Anyways, have a great day, guys. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you on the battlefront.